The citizen airmen of the Air National Guard have successfully quarterbacked the first large-scale integration of the MQ-9 unmanned aerial platform into Philippine airspace. We had nothing but positive engagement with the Air National Guard. There was a can-do attitude to make this happen. And there is a true professionalism amongst the entire enterprise that is demonstrated through the Air National Guard's ability to do agile combat employment. And the Marine Corps is benefiting both in the exercises now. The 163rd Attack Wing in California, in conjunction with the 118th Wing in Tennessee, works shoulder to shoulder with U.S. Marines and the Philippine Air Force to provide intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, maritime domain awareness, and simulated offensive air support for Exercise Balagatan. The Air National Guard was a key piece to demonstrate the capabilities that this platform has in order to showcase the, the need for this type of um, capability in the Indo-Pacific for all of our allies and partners uh, to use to increase our situational awareness and, and conduct maritime domain awareness. Allowing information to be shared across levels of command to have um, combined awareness of the environment allows decision makers at every level to make the appropriate decisions at the appropriate times. Contingent on the success of the integration was the ability of Air National Guard MQ-9 pilots in Tennessee to seamlessly coordinate with the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines over 8,000 miles away. Safe airspace is our first priority. We were amazed that we did not experience such uh, two or three seconds delay. It's like instantaneous. Yeah. Based on our experience, uh, they have followed all the procedures that we were uh, briefed. Of course, the most exciting part is that we saw the MQ-9s personally. <laughs> We saw how big it is and how the ground crews are doing all the preparations, the checks, and we learned a lot. It's exciting knowing that uh, an aircraft is flying without uh, a pilot on board on it. And uh, this uh, experience uh, opened our eyes towards the future. Despite the unique obstacles associated with such a large-scale integration, the citizen airmen of the Air National Guard responded to the call and proved once again their readiness, responsiveness, and reliability. Uh, without the relationship that we have developed from Marine Forces Pacific and the Air National Guard, this capability would not be here today. Um, and it has been an, an honor to work alongside uh, the team uh, and definitely looking forward to continuing the relationship both in exercises in Indo-PACOM and in training in CONUS. Reporting on Balakatan 2023, I'm U.S. Air National Guard Staff Sergeant Joseph Pagan.